As president of uh, Eurocities, last year, I think it was June, I received a letter from uh, the president of the European uh, Commission, uh, José Manuel Barroso, congratulating uh, Eurocities on its strategic city-based propositions on especially tackling the economic and financial crisis. And in his letter, the president clearly stated that the Lisbon strategy after 2010 should make room for a reinforced role of the regions and local authorities. By my reading, uh, the letter also held an implicit uh, acknowledgement that the pre, in the pre-Lisbon era, the regional and local authorities had not been sufficiently recognized, nor had their potential completely been harnessed. And I refer to this letter, written in June 2009, six months behind now, because it has a political significant significance in it. The president of the Euro European Commission invites us as Eurocities to come forward with further concrete suggestions on how local authorities will contribute to Europe's prosperity. And you can uh, be assured of the fact that we will come forward with uh, propositions uh, because we need, in our view, social and public sector innovation. And that will come without any doubt from the side of the cities in, uh, in Europe. Cities are, are, in fact, in the forefront of an aspiration for a greener Europe. And we, as cities, we haven't waited till Copenhagen. Take, for instance, our policies and the ideas we have got for public transport. I won't elaborate on that as well. But it is clear that to fight pollution and to fight congestion, public transport is of the utmost importance. Cities contribute to economic innovation, and we are, I think, vital to the recovery and to the reinforcement of the European economy. Are, aren't we uh, the best positioned to, uh, let's say, to realize active inclusion? Aren't we best positioned to fight uh, poverty? So in our view, this should be mirrored in the uh, policies of the European Commission, the post-Lisbon strategy towards 2020, and of course in the uh, budget uh, from uh, tooth and, the, and the discussions in which you as members of European Parliament were very much involved for the budget from 2013 uh, onwards. And there are, I think, many, many innovations you can, you can think about especially having more clearer budget lines, think at the cohesion policies in the direction of uh, the cities in, uh, in Europe.